Hi everybody, I'm Dominic Amoroso from Ask Me DIY. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tape the tape joints and a butt joint. Now, the tape joints are relatively easy because it's already like concave on both sides, so everything fills in. Where the butt joint is a lot different. And usually the butt joints are two pieces of sheetrock that are joined on one inch and a half, either two by four or whatever it may be. Um, you know, it's a lot of covering up to do. It's, it's, they're definitely not the easiest joints to do. But lucky enough for us, the great people at Straight Flex sent me over some special tape for the butt joints. And it's called Butt Tape. Now check this out. This is regular sheetrock tape. You know, just regular uh, paper. And then this is what they call the butt joint tape. Just looking at it, it's definitely stronger. It's thicker. But on the sides, it's all perforated. And nice and thin which means it's gonna bond much much nicer to the wall all right first thing we want to do we want to put our first coat when I just coat with a three or four inch taping knife and you just want to go maybe you know four inches wide which makes it nice but don't be stingy on this part make sure you put enough on not enough where it's falling on the freaking floor you know but enough that you know it's there okay you get it put it in your knife go like that like that, put it in, okay, maybe, all right, I got a little sloppy, okay, anyway, your butt joint, the same thing, put it in, now the butt joint, sometimes you have these gaps, you just push it in, make sure you get that in there, once you fill that gap up, then go over, you know, not, just don't push really hard, because the harder you push, you're going to take it all back out. Okay, now that we have a nice coat on our joints, gonna get our butt tape. Go, center it, kind of like, you know, I mean, we gotta cover it up, our joints covered up, kind of figure out where center is, put your little finger in there, get a little dirty, put it on, and then hold it as you're going down, make sure it's nice and straight on top of that, cut it to the length, and then just give a little push with your, with your fingers, and we're gonna do the same with our butt joint. Just like that, figure out how much we need, go over it, we got center there, go down, put it, just push it in like that. No, you're not done. Now we got to embed it in there, get it all nice and clean. Just hold your finger on, on one side, which you would do for any old tape, because you're going to put a little pressure on it, and if you're really not holding it, I mean, you don't got to hold it the whole time, so if your wall's 10 feet long, <laughs> Your arms are not that big, so don't worry about it. At least they shouldn't be, unless you belong in a zoo somewhere. Just hold it down and just apply pressure. Now, see that? Okay, we took our mud off just the, our wood edge of it here. Now, a lot of people always watch me do this and like, geez, how do you make it look so easy and you did it so fast? Because it's really not difficult. The knife, like I've showed you guys many times before, but I'm going to show you again. It's a small knife, you're not going to use some big pizza knife on it, okay? A little knife like that. While I'm, while I put my knife, I'm not going over the whole entire tape here. I'm doing one end at edge at, at a time. So I'm, I'm like halfway from, the, from the, the middle of the tape out. Okay, so right here we don't have any joint compounds, so we don't really have any to clean off. In the middle, we really don't have any in the middle on, the, on, top, on top of the tape yet, this first coat. Remember, when you hold the knife, this is what you're looking at, okay? Holding it on an angle. Where the, the top of it is riding against the sheetrock. And the lower part of the knife is just laying on top of it. So again, go real fast like that. You got some white pop compound. You're going to come back and do, the, and do the other. Just like that. Boom, boom. Oh, that was in my way. See, look at that. Voila! Nice, done. Now we're gonna do our, our butt tape. So check it out. So if you can get a close up of this while I do this. This is for, oops, right. clean that up a little bit. Okay, now this is our butt joint, okay? So I'm gonna hold it. Okay, this is only the first coat. Go down. Now you see where my finger is on the knife? All right, so I'm holding pressure on it. Okay. Come do the other side. Bah, bah, bah. Voila! Voila! Beautiful! Alright, maybe not that beautiful. Okay? But 
It certainly looks good. So right now, we're going to let this dry and go on with the second coat. But guess what? It's taped from Straight Flex, which makes it really good because it's thicker, stronger. We can put another coat on it. We don't have to worry about it freaking out on us. So for giggles, let's go with the second coat. Second coat, how do you put it on? You know what? Just put it on like that. Now, all right, I hope you're paying attention because I'm only showing this once. There's not going to be a rewind button on the video. Watch. Before, we stayed on the edge, the outside edges. Now, I'm kind of staying in the middle, you know, because we want to start building it up, it up now. Right in the center, like that. Now, we're going to go to the outside edges. Remember the first time? Same thing. Just like that. Like that, the top. Okay. Uh, voila! Okay, but well check it out. Remember, these, the sheetrock here, these are the tape joints, so it's, it's beveled, right? Both of them are beveled in. So we can build that up quite a bit before it's actually shown. But this is where the butt tape for our butt joint comes in really good because we, we want a strong bond and we know we got it with this kind of tape. So what happens, flat sheetrock, flat sheetrock, right? Okay, now we're building this out. So what do you think is gonna happen, right? You're gonna have a bump. So when we're all done, essentially, what we're gonna have is something about this wide, right? Uh, I have actually another shot I can show you one in process. Uh, but it's actually gonna be pretty wide when we're done. This is the first coat. We're gonna go on with the second coat. Right on time, you start building it out. Now we're gonna start building it out, okay? So it's not so obvious when you know you have when you have a butt joint. Okay, now check this out. This is something that we did in one of our, our previous videos. If you look, we have the we have we did our, our colors here, if you remember a while back. We have our white, our blue, and our, our red. Well, this is a butt joint, okay? And this one was really bad, so we needed to really, you know, build it out and higher, okay? So now it's pretty nice and flat. I like it. So I'll just to give you an idea, this is our, our tape, uh, you know, which is the one coat that we went on with the second coat, and then our third coat, which is basically just a, a, a thin skim coat. All right, well, I hope you learned how to do our tape joints and our butt joints. Now, the great people of Straight Flex that sent me this stuff, let me tell you, stuff's pretty cool. I like it a lot, and believe me, for me to make this video and tell you guys about it, it's got to be good. Guarantee it. Where do you get it? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Go to Home Depot, homedepot.com, or even straightflex.com. Or, again, where? On my website. I'll have a link for it. But I tell you, a little thing of caution here. It's called butt tape, okay? So when you go into the store, say Home Depot, and you, and you ask the guy, say, hey, I need some butt tape. Well, make sure you talk to the guy maybe in the sheetrock department and doesn't give you something to, you know, put on your butt, okay? Anyway, I'm Dominic. I hope you learned something.